Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about pregnancy must-haves because I am deep in it. I'm in my second trimester and all of these products have been saving me lately. Let's start with the first trimester though. I had a lot more nausea and morning sickness than I did in my first pregnancy. So what I ended up doing, a lot of people are like, oh, the ginger candies and you know, eating things like apple and apple juice and stuff like that. Like that helps me a little bit. But what really, really helped me were these two things. First, peppermint tea, and you guys will see, peppermint rules my life while I'm pregnant. There's something about peppermint tea, not just for the nausea, but if you get headaches or anything like that, it just helps you really like ground yourself and feel better, and it even helps me go to sleep. I don't know why, but there's something about peppermint, so peppermint tea, peppermint oils, anything like that. So peppermint tea is definitely something that you should have on hand when you're pregnant. Speaking of peppermint, I love this peppermint oil from Aveda, it's called Cooling, but I actually have purchased a bunch of peppermint oils from Amazon as well that were a little bit cheaper. Peppermint oil is saving my life, even at this moment, you guys, I have like the worst headache happening right now, and it's just kind of like life for me while I'm pregnant, my first pregnancy and this pregnancy. I'm one of those people that already had, I was like prone to headaches and stuff like that, but there's something about me being pregnant that I get headaches really, really bad. So I put this on, I literally just did it a second ago. I put it on my temples, I put it under my nose, I put it on the back of my neck, and it really helps me because I find that like, you know, we can take Tylenol while we're pregnant, but Tylenol does nothing for me sometimes. I don't know why. And I really like, it's one of those moments where I'm like, I wish I could take Advil, but I can't. I use peppermint oil. It's honestly, it's a lifesaver. I love this one from Aveda. I'm very nostalgic about it because I used to work for Aveda when I was in college. I will just throw out there um, peppermint oil as an essential oil. If it's not made to be put on your skin, like if you haven't, per if you purchase it, make sure it's something that's formulated for your skin where they've diluted it for you because it can be very irritating because it's a strong essential oil and you don't want to put um, a non-diluted peppermint oil directly on your skin. Next, if you guys have been watching, I have craved sugar, especially in my first trimester. It's all I really wanted was sugar but I found that sour candy really, really helped me throughout my pregnancy. So one thing I did was I went on to Amazon and I just like started searching all these like different sour candies that I like. And I found, you know, a company that just sells like a bunch of like different sour candies. These are the sour string candies. I just wanted like big, big packs of all this kind of stuff. I got these, I got like some sour lips. This kind of stuff was helping me. I also had this weird, I still kind of get it, but it was really bad my first trimester. I had this weird like like metallic taste in my mouth and I found that having candy around really helped. Um, sometimes it made it worse too after the fact, but candy, peppermint tea, that kind of stuff was kind of like helping to make it go away, um, at least like in the, like, in the moment. <laughs> Speaking of things to eat that save your life during pregnancy, my last pregnancy, I had such intense heartburn when I was in my third trimester. Um, they always say it's because your child is, you know, has hair. If your child has hair in your womb, um, you're gonna have a lot of heartburn. It, it turns out Nikosh came out with a ton of hair. So I'm already preparing for this. I haven't had that much heartburn, but I've had a little bit so far. Um, and so, Tums, you guys. I like these ones because they're chewy. It's more like candy to me, but I like Tums anyway. So being able to just like grab some Tums and help your heartburn is very, very helpful during your pregnancy, especially that third trimester. Every pregnant woman I talk to is like, oh my God, in the third trimester, what did you do about the heartburn? And I'm like, honestly, it was just Tums. I don't really have a big solution for you guys. Just Tums and avoid the spicy food. During pregnancy, and actually while I was breastfeeding too, I was so thirsty, I'm so thirsty right now. I actually find that sometimes when I'm getting the headaches, it's because I haven't had enough water. So having a Hydro Flask or like a Swell bottle around with you is super, super helpful. You wanna have water with you at all times. I make sure I have it in the car with me, especially if I get stuck in traffic. I make sure if I'm just going anywhere, spending the day at work, anything, I have my water bottle with me because I am always so thirsty. And I really do find that when I'm getting headaches, it's probably because I'm a little bit dehydrated. Something that you guys have been asking me is how I prevent stretch marks. And I will point this out because I feel like everyone should know this. Stretch marks are first and foremost genetic. It's hereditary if your mom or grandma or, you know, even, I don't even know whose side it is truly where it comes from, but there are some things you can do to prevent them. I mean, some things you can do afterwards also that we can talk about later. But one ingredient that I think people should look for when they're trying to choose their body oils and their creams and all that kind of stuff um, for the prevention of stretch marks is 
Shea Butter. This is from Shea Moisture. This is actually pure Shea Butter. Shea Butter, I've been told by estheticians and dermatologists, Shea butter is one of the best um, ingredients that you can use to help with that like stretching of your skin and everything. It really helps to make it a little bit more elastic and stuff. And that's one way you can try to prevent the stretch marks. I am telling you, you cannot fully prevent them if you were meant to have them. And I know that, that that's like such a sad thing to say out loud, but it doesn't mean that there aren't ways that you can't treat them afterwards. And we can talk about that in another video. I have a whole process for what I've been doing with my skin while I've been pregnant for my body. And so um, I'm gonna make that a whole other video. And I'll obviously talk about shea butter in that, but I think shea butter is one of those main ingredients that a pregnant woman should have. You guys have heard me talk about this before. Um, you need prenatals while you're pregnant. They help give you all the essential vitamins that you need. I find that I'm really bad about taking vitamins. They always make me nauseous. But this time around, I found Ritual Vitamins. I'm on, I don't know, this is like bottle four, I wanna say. First off, they smell like citrus. They did something, this little stick right here that's made to like help preserve the vitamins, it smells like citrus. So when you open it and when you're putting them in your mouth and stuff, it doesn't make you wanna throw up. Their form of folate is a natural form of folate. And there have been like more recent studies lately that say that if it's a synthetic one for some women, not all women, and chances are you're not even one of those women, but you just don't know. For some women, uh, the synthetic folate can actually not be very healthy for you or for your baby. So a lot of people are really pushing the natural folate now. So that's something to also look into. This one has that. What I love about this company is they, they tell you where they're sourcing all of the ingredients in their products. You know, you need that transparency. Like what are those ingredients in my, in my vitamins? You know, like sometimes you just don't know. A lot of the time it's just filler stuff. And that's the way vitamins have been for so many years that I'm really glad that there's a brand like this that's kind of like, no, we're gonna change that. We're gonna tell you everything that's in these vitamins and it's not gonna be anything extra, cause why? Every pregnant woman should get maternity bras now because your boobs start to get big and they get sore and all of that kind of stuff. Your nipples get huge. It's crazy. It's crazy how it all starts. So I recommend getting your maternity bras, um, your nursing bras now while you're in pregnancy. That way they're not being used for a short period of time. It's like you use them for your pregnancy while your boobs are getting bigger anyway. And then into breastfeeding. I just got these. So I actually have nothing to say about them just yet, but these are, a little bit more fashionable. Last time I just got my bras off of Amazon and those were totally fine too. I actually am still using those bras as well. But I just got these from Lively and I'm excited to try them out because why not have a nice maternity bra? So if these work out, I'm gonna be really pumped about this. I'm gonna make a whole video on like my maternity style and things that I've been using, but I just got these. I did try them on. And one thing I will point out is that the seam right here lands like right at my nipple. I don't know if they land at everyone's nipple, but it does for me. I haven't tried them with a shirt yet. So I'm curious to see if that's gonna be weird or if it's gonna be totally fine. But that's one thing I will point out. Otherwise, I do think these are really nice. Another thing that I think every pregnant woman should have, um, and one thing that I really regret not having sooner in my last pregnancy is a belly band, a really good belly band. You know, you don't think about the support that your belly needs as, it's, as it expands. And you don't think about like how harsh it is on your stomach muscles, on your ab muscles. And it wasn't until after pregnancy that I was like, I really wish I would have worn something that supported my belly instead of letting it hang all over the place especially in that third trimester, because I ended up with diastasis recti. That's where your ab muscles don't completely fuse back together after pregnancy. So this pregnancy, second time around, everyone tells you, you know, it's like you find out you're pregnant and then it's like the next day you wake up and you feel like you're like pregnant suddenly. And it's true, it's like your uterus is already stretched out, everything's all stretched out. And so you just start to be much more pregnant much sooner. And so I went ahead and I got some belly bands right away. This one I got off of Amazon and I have yet to use this one because it's, this is when my tummy's like really, really huge in the third trimester, but I really like that it's got, you know, these adjustable straps and stuff to accommodate my growing belly. But then there's also this one. It's a little bit more typical, but it's one that you um, can start wearing a little bit sooner. I'm gonna probably start wearing this very soon. I um, mean, it just kind of like, it's more stretchy and it's gonna, it, it ends up being like a support for your belly, but it also helps with things like, if your jeans are just like not fitting you anymore and stuff like that, you can wear this and let them be unbuckled and stuff like that so that they, you know, they get some use still, but you can use this kind of a belly band for stuff like that. No matter if it's your first pregnancy or your second or your third, support your belly because you really don't wanna like let it stretch out even more than it needs to. Speaking of jeans though, every pregnant woman needs at least one set of maternity jeans. And 
Ta-da! These are my maternity jeans that I ended up picking. I love these. I got these off of Shopbop. These are super, super stretchy. I might get maybe one other pair of maternity jeans, but I find that maternity jeans are like really overpriced. I don't really understand why anybody would wanna spend a hundred bucks or more, but I went ahead and got this pair because I know I'm gonna use them a lot. You know, I'll probably wear them more than once a week. So that's gonna be worth it for me. And I actually did find that I wore my maternity jeans a little bit after pregnancy too, because I was still swollen and I was still adjusting and stuff. So I still wore them because I wanted to be comfortable um, for months actually. So my maternity jeans got a lot of wear. And if you know you're gonna be pregnant again, or you're gonna try to get pregnant again in the future, having maternity jeans is like a great thing to keep, just keep around. Around. Having something like this where it's just that elastic band and stuff helps you adjust to your growing belly and stuff and everyone just needs at least one really good pair of maternity jeans. I love these ones. Speaking of maternity pants, maternity leggings are an absolute must. I found a bunch that I love on Amazon. Um, some were a little bit cheaper than others and the quality obviously varies because of those prices, but I'm gonna link all of them in the description that I found. What I love about these, they're workout leggings. Um, so they cover your entire belly or you can fold them down. And that's been really, really helpful because I'm in that weird in-between stage where my belly isn't like huge, but I definitely can't wear all of my old stuff. So I like folding them down right now. I find them to be much more comfortable, but you can lift them up as your stomach gets a little bit bigger. Um, I wear these while I'm working out. I wear these leggings and obviously I just go with black because why do I need any other colors? But um, I bought like three or four pairs of these, but you really just need one solid pair of black leggings. Next, Obviously you're gonna spend, you know, you're gonna get a lot of maternity clothing and stuff as you're pregnant. I look for dresses. I always try to find dresses, whether they're maternity or not. They're either, you know, I really just like a really nice roomy dress that can even just like hide my stomach so I don't have to start explaining to everybody and stuff. And this one is from Hatch. Hatch can be a little bit pricey, but I find that their clothing is very fashionable and on trend. So if you wanna find something for maybe like your baby shower or a special event, I would really recommend going to hatch.com because they have such beautiful pieces, um, especially if you know you are gonna get pregnant again in the future. Why not get some really nice pieces that you like? I also just really like dresses that are stretchy in general. You probably saw in my last pregnancy, I, I wore a lot of stretchy dresses. They're like the form-fitting ones, but very stretchy. And um, to me, those really, I really liked those when I um, got to my third trimester, especially second and third trimester, because then you're like, okay guys, I'm not, I'm not chubby, I'm just <laughs> pregnant. And it really shows off your belly. And instead of you having to always be like in pictures, like here's my belly and trying to like, you know, put your hand on your belly and stuff to make it really pop out. Instead, you're just wearing a dress that's already form-fitting and your belly pops out and you're good. Solid, good to go, no need to explain. I think everyone sees that you're pregnant. And so I really liked those kinds of dresses as well, but a roomy dress is also nice when you don't wanna explain. Last couple of things that I feel like every pregnant woman needs. Um, first off, I would start with this wedge pillow. It's from Boppy. I think this was like 15 bucks. It's something I had in my first pregnancy, something I'm using even sooner actually into this pregnancy. I didn't get this until like my second trimester, my first pregnancy. I got this right away for this one. This little wedge is so helpful. It was actually helpful to some of my friends um, after pregnancy too. They found that they like used it to sit on and stuff after they had vaginal birth. But what I find it helpful for is, you know, they tell you you, sh you should sleep on your side but I've already got a little bit of a tummy and I just wedge it between me and the bed, like my belly and the bed. And it gives that little support because, you know, especially in like the first uh, couple, the first few weeks of pregnancy, I found that my belly just like hung mid air almost, like it wasn't touching the bed on my side, but it was just hanging there. And I found that to be so uncomfortable. So I wedge this between the bed and my belly and it's so much better. I sleep so much better when I have this wedge between me. Um, and sometimes you can even just like wedge it between your knees and stuff and it really does help. It's it's just a really like nice, simple pillow that comes in handy when you're pregnant. And speaking of pillows, I wanna say this is the Snoogle. Um, I had this for my first pregnancy. I haven't actually tried to use it yet because I'm not there. Yeah, but when I got to the point where every position was just so uncomfortable, my husband actually got this for me um, and it saved my life because I was always just like, I'm so uncomfortable, I can't sleep anymore. And he did a little research and he got me this pillow off of Amazon. You like can twist it around all over you, like put it under your head, you can put it under your belly, you can 
put your legs around it. You could do everything you need to do to make yourself feel comfortable with this huge pillow. Um, I know a lot of moms love this and I know a lot of people even used it after their pregnancy, um, but I found this to be very, very helpful in that third trimester of my pregnancy. So I recommend you get a big pillow like this guy. So those are my pregnancy must-haves. If you have others to add, tell me in the comments below because I'm sure everyone watching this will find that to be very, very helpful. Or if you had any of these products and used them, let us know as well. Give this video a big thumbs up. Find me on Instagram. I'm updating all the time about my pregnancy lately. I'm just at Susan Yara and subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you soon.